Hello, I'm Claire Allen. I'm a MasterChef Top 9 contestant, a blogger, a food entertainer, an entrepreneur, and a skinny chef from the live theatre show, Short Chef Skinny Chef. Welcome to my cooking series, The Foodie in Love, where I will take you on a culinary journey which will reawaken your flavorful love affair with food. I will be fusing family recipes with my well-balanced, wholesome approach to preparing meals, allowing guests to realize the true benefit to cooking from the heart. So, canopy number two is chicken satay shots. Sounds divine. Chicken, not tequila shots. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, you can drink your bubbles, I'll do the work Thank this you, time. <laughs> so we've got pre-cut chicken strips, and we're gonna do a mm. marinade for it. We've got some soya sauce. And we've got some chili sauce of your choice. Mm -hmm. Tabasco, peri peri, whatever mm -hmm. you prefer. We've got some brown sugar. A little bit of brown sugar. Actually, use muscovado sugar, that's the best one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then some crushed garlic. And a little glug of olive oil. Absolutely, perfect. Give this a mix. So you can do this 24 hours in advance and let the marinade really nice. Yeah, but then it like, absorbs exactly, it exactly. 100%. Now, I think this would be really, really good marinade for a splash cooked chicken. You can do oh, it Oh, imagine that. Do it on the broth, serve with a beautiful salad. Mm. I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. You can use the same flavors and use it on different dishes. You don't have to actually follow every recipe to the tea. That's the nice thing about the cooking. You just try. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a chicken skewer and we're actually going to skewer our chicken pieces. We do that, nice and easy. Yeah. Taking the, the, the message out, obviously. Mm. Giving yeah, your day fine. off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're the guest here, I'm cooking for you. Um, it's been really nice having all my girls around. And I've actually, for 2016, you know, started supper mm -hmm. club. So mm -hmm. once a month day, in the evening, where all the girls will come to my house and I'll cook them dinner. And that we are so looking forward to. I can't to. wait. It's going to be really nice. I can't wait to try some really new interesting dishes. Trial for the channel in the series. Get to, You guys get to be my guinea pigs. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Exactly. Hello. When you cook so well, it's not about a guinea pig. It's actually about um, enjoying the whatever you're about to serve us. Exactly. I mean, there's I've nothing... some really good recipe books. So mm. you can definitely do some nice things. Now, once you've done all the chicken skewers, you pop them into a baking tray and then put them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And then you're gonna make a sauce. Oh, you're gonna make it this time. No, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so to make our sauce, we're gonna have a preheated pan. You add some olive oil. When your onions have softened. Add garlic. Mm. This is a nice mix. And you already start to smell the flavor. Onions and garlic mm. are such a win. You walk into someone's house and they're cooking onions and you already think they're a chef. Mm, exactly. You can smell it already. Now you can add um, two teaspoons of sugar. And you allow that to caramelize a little bit. So give it a nice stir and then give it a minute or so to actually start caramelizing. The sugar's going to melt and it's just going to add to this layer of flavor for our sauce. Next up, you're going to add your soy sauce. And your peanut butter. It has to be crunchy peanut butter to get that Ooh, real nutty you flavor. Can see that. Look at that blending in. Okay? Now, you can add your dry chili and your fresh chili. If you're making this for kids, you can obviously exclude the chili completely. Probably about half of that. That's perfect. And then you can do the fresh chili with some extra fresh bite. There we go, there we go. Okay, perfect. And then you're going to add your coconut milk. You just pour a little bit at a time as you mix through to get the desired consistency. And that's it, quick and easy. There's no reason to buy store-bought sauces when it's that easy to make your own. You can mm. make it a day in advance and serve it when ready. That's Definitely. Easy. Oh, lovely. So our chicken's done. Kara's busy dishing up our sauce. You can use shot glasses, teacups, whatever you like. But just take your skewers and you can pop them into your glass like this. It looks absolutely fabulous. It smells good. Good job on the oh, sauce. Well done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some fresh lime. I'm going to slice this open and just 
pool with a fresh llama to put our chicken. Ooh, look at that. And uh, need one more chicken skewer, one more oh. chicken skewer. Love and there we go, Bob's your uncle. Two canapes down, one to go. Let's, go. Let's taste, Ooh, taste, yes, taste, 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 taste. Absolutely. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mm. The lime makes it pop so mm. on. The chicken's so tender mm. in your marinade. And the sauce is just so sauce good. Is brilliant. Got to dip it in there. Mm. I'm very happy. Mm. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For full recipes, visit www.foodislove.co.za. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram under ClaireAllen underscore SA or on Facebook under MasterChefSA Claire Allen. Always remember, food is love.